أن يكون عندك خادم بالبيت ويكون جواز عنده وإن كان كانت جوازها وراحت سافرت شلون تبني على وضعي ولا لا الشيء الأدوي الأمر أن كل أسبوع لها يوم أوف يوم أوف كل أسبوع I just want to start off by saying that not all Arabs are like this. Arabs are one of the most kind-hearted, humble, and generous people that I know, and they are not like this. There are some Arabs who are like this, that's just the minority of them, which is about this much. Okay, so it's not fair to be blaming the actions of a single person to an entire race. That's like saying all white people are racist, which is not reality which is not the case and this goes out to all the people who are saying oh typical arab treating their house workers like slaves you do realize that the same thing can be said to you and me right i could be french and have her personality and nothing would change i'd still be a spoiled bitch but the only difference is i'm french so it's not fair to be assuming that all arabs are like this when the same thing can be said about you and me regardless of our race now with that being said fuck this bitch okay fuck her okay do you have any fucking idea? Do you have any fucking clue about what you're saying? You're talking about some hardworking people, you spoiled ass bitch. You're talking about owning a servant. Owning a servant? You can't fucking own a person in the first place, you fucking. <laughs> yeah. You Cruella looking ass, Maleficent looking ass. Look at this dude. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's very immature of me to be insulting your appearance right now, but I think that's the least of the problem here. How dare you talk to one of the most hardest working people in this goddamn planet like that? How fucking dare you? Have you lost your fucking mind? Do you have any idea how hard it is to be leaving your home country, leaving your family, leaving your friends, leaving everything behind to go work abroad just because that's the only opportunity available to you? Do you have any fucking idea how hard that is? I don't think so. If any fucking clue? fucking remorse for what you said, you wouldn't be posting shit like that in the first fucking place. Some of these domestic workers are college graduates, educated people, people who finish studying education, nursing, some even engineers, and yet they're doing this. They're doing domestic work because they have no fucking choice. They have their reservations, they have their own pride, but they're sacrificing all of that just so they can provide to their family back home. I don't think you have any grasp on how hard that kind of situation is. You do realize that being a maid or being a houseworker is one of the most selfless jobs out there, right? You do realize that, right? You have a brain to fucking know that shit, right? I mean, think about it. You're a business owner. You have multiple businesses. You're a CEO. And your house is dirty. You go home to a dirty house. Do you have time to even clean that shit up when you're busy managing multiple things? I don't think you do. That's why you get a houseworker. That's why you get a nanny. That's why you get help. In my language, maids are called katulong. Tulong means help. Fucking, they're there to help you. They're not your fucking service. They're there to help you. They free you up by doing all the things that you can't be bothered or don't have the time to do, like cooking, cleaning, and or doing the dishes. Imagine how fucking selfless that is. Even though you pay them, I mean, you're a business owner. You can get that investment back some other way, but. Again, this is a selfless job. Wait, don't you fucking see it that way? How fucking lost in your own world are you? To be saying shit like that. To be saying shit to selfless people. To heroes, to people who deserve a lot more appreciation than they do right now. Because they do. They do deserve to be appreciated. Because they don't get appreciation as much. When my mom gets home, the dishes are unclean. I didn't take out the trash. I didn't take the chicken out of the freezer. I didn't do a lot of shit. She gets home and guess what happens? Nothing. She doesn't treat me like shit. She doesn't do this and that and cause me shit. Imagine my mom doesn't even give me shit when I did nothing. Which I know I deserve to be talking shit to. But she doesn't because she's my mom and she's the greatest person on this fucking planet. With that being said, what gives you the fucking right to be talking to these people that way? Huh? What gives you the fucking right? If their own parents or their own family, their own mom that brought them into this fucking world don't talk to them that way. What gives you the fucking right to be talking to these people that way? What gives you the fucking right to think that you can own these people when you didn't bring them to this fucking world to begin with? What gives you the right? Huh? Tell me. Spoiled bitch. To anyone else other than me watching this, don't ever call a woman a bitch. Honey, you're a goddamn lucky and you were born beautiful. God bless, but goddamn, what the fuck happened to everything else? It's like you're making a character in a video game. Physical appearance 100, money 100, attractiveness 100. But the important stuff, personality, zero. Intelligence, zero. Attitude, zero. Everything else that makes you a decent human being, zero. Goddamn. Oh, but she apologized. Oh wait, nope, she didn't. She just basically doubled down on her statement and offered no remorse for her actions. 
Right, hashtag no regrets, am I right? Spreading rumors? What the fuck is this bitch talking about? That ain't no fucking rumor. You're the one who posted that video in the first place. I'm sorry, that's a pretty stupid response. See, don't judge a person when I full understanding the situation. Just because you don't agree doesn't mean that you are right. Yeah, okay, I disagree. I fully understand the situation. You're a terrible human being, that's just that. Oh yeah, and you can't leave comments on her post, and she deleted all the hate comments, but of course she left this one. Hi, 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 you are beautiful inside and outsider. Yep. Yeah. I gotta give you credit. I mean, you stood by your opinion, and you stood by being a shitty person, and I gotta respect you for that. I am a shitty person. I'm a bitch, but I'm a proud bitch. Bitch, do it look like I can. There's also the last part here on her apology letter where she says thank you for stating that I'm beautiful from the outside and assure you that you can only meet me up close and personal that you can make a personal judgment about me as a human being a person. The fact that by having the passport and employee in the possession of an employer does not in any way give an indication about a human being. Okay, I don't think anyone needs to meet you in person just to judge what kind of person you are. The fact that you posted this video online for your 2.3 million followers to see it's clear enough indication to know what kind of a person you are. There's another one of her saying that Botox is more important than Filipino domestic rights. I mean... <laughs> but there's also another article that I just saw right now. It says Kuwaitis call beauty blogger an embarrassment. Just opened the article. It says here, she's an embarrassment. As far as I can remember, everyone knows that Sunday is a day off for those of us lucky enough to have help. <laughs> what a fucking <laughs> <laughs> Now since I love you so much and you're so goddamn beautiful, I made a song for you. <laughs> I know, I know, I didn't have to, but I did. Now I'm no expert or, you know, a professional songwriter, but I tried. I mean, it's the effort, it's the thought that counts, right? Put a lot of effort into it and I'm a romantic, you know, I'm a romantic guy. I do shit like that. I'm really thoughtful. I like to do shit like that. So, again, I'm not an expert at this, um, <laughs> but I did my best. I'm, I'm really shy, but, you know, here it is. <laughs> I hope you like it. Ooh, ooh. I'm just doing a karaoke, so if I sound shitty or out of sync, I'm sorry. I don't really sing or rap. <clears throat> so. Problems, we the first that problem. Why can you talk like that? We never work like that, bitch. And never clean the toilet, but you're talking shit, bitch. Rolling on that wrist, but your attitude a miss, bitch. Let me shoot my shot, better hope that I miss. Because with this, this, I'm a risk this so called career. I'm around with this, this, better kiss this, this, or mine goodbye. Can't dismiss the rest that lie. Okay, oh, 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 here we go, yeah. Okay, hey, full song, Cruella. 20 likes, give me that 20 likes. Woo, woo. Let's go. 20 likes, I want that attention, baby. I'm just editing the video right now and I'm just cringing at myself so badly. But, um, you know, I was doing all this. I was doing all that shit. But I'm just, just, just looking at these clips, I'm just cringing so hard at myself right now. Damn, in my head it looked way better. I looked way harder, way more, you know. Rapper and fucking alpha male shit. Now it's just looks lame as fuck. And shit, I don't know. <laughs> Could have been worse. Yeah, YouTube fame, I'm coming for you. I don't know where the fuck I did that.